I oh, what, 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 let's answer it after this. I I can I can I'm trying to think of an answer that's not painfully obvious because there's something I can say, but I trying to think it's trying to think if there's anything else I can uh, like answer answer it to. I love this music. Oh yeah. Like even 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 the, the slow part here. Oh yeah. How do you kill what's already dead? I, knew, I was trying to jump on that. Ghosts don't die. Oh, by the way, before you start, we're gonna do one from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they playing? It's like shuffleboard, I guess. Yeah. Or. I don't know. Okay. Because my answer would just be like death or something, but that's kind of obvious. And we kind of right. touched on that earlier. My greatest fear is never up updating my YouTube channel. <laughs> so your your fear is my greatest fear is being alone. Actually, my greatest fear that's... is that Harry will make me review the nut job too. Scrappy's <laughs> 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 greatest fear is um. Doing a review of the nut job because why not? Is the movie bad or something? No, no, it's alright, but. It, it's just an inside joke. Because, um. <laughs> I saw his uh, nut. like, half of his nut job review, and he starts it with saying, It's time for a review of the nut job because why not? And, um. I, I've just. <laughs> I've just, uh, teased him about it. A lot. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I got you. You can't mess up at all, really, in these sections. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, it's like you played all the like... tricky treasures, so, like. This is nothing. Just get ready to oh, God. do the real challenge. Pretty much. I love this. Jesus oh, crackers! Cheesy crackers. Oh crap, I meant to jump. Kaizo oh. everywhere. I like how it makes you jump there. Yeah. What were you talking about? Great spears. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can understand. I, I would uh, agree with the lonely thing as well. I suppose. Like I'm a kind of a lonely person, but I, I, I was... don't want to be. I don't want to be alone. I hate being alone. Cause here's the thing. That was my life for quite a while during school. I, I don't want to go back to that. Exactly. Oh, come on. We're chasing us twice. Oh, the murder of crows. I think. Uh, I'm looking at them, they look more like bugs than birds. There's a lot of them. Jump through! Jump through! Oh, Lord! That Japanese accent was not intentional, I was just in the moment. I don't- Oh, oh my god, we're so close Woo! to nipping them. Okay. Checkpoint. I know this- I know for a set- for a- Fact, this is a chat point. That's precise as all hell. Dang it. Woo. Yeah. I do like this though, because it's a test of everything you've learned up to this point, and I love secret or like final levels like that. It's why. What the hell? Why? It's why I like levels like Eggman Land and such, because it tests everything you know. Throw me a scent. Yeah, yeah. They never made any more DLC for Insane Trilogy, did they? Uh, no. I, I'm hoping they will eventually. Yeah. I, I want to see more, like, uh, Yeah, I want to see Beta Sunset Vista. I want to see, see them patch those jet ski levels. <laughs> me too. But I, I want to see the water, of the uh, cut water level, uh, waterfall level. Oh, totally. Oh. Dang it. 
You're jumping just a little bit too early on that last bit there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, alright, should I change the subject? Alright, are we on a new subject in the after fear then? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Where are you finding these, by the way? Conversationstars.com. <laughs> this is. Oh, man. We should use this more often. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I, I, I might run out of topics at this rate. Because. Me and Jerry talk a, a lot about, uh, uh Whoa! Talk. Oh my goodness. How can we live? Precise as all of <laughs> Okay, but no, uh, me and, me and Jerry talk a lot about t having conversations about having conversations. <laughs> like, we have literally, sometimes we, like, stay, stay in a call and say nothing for, like, three hours. And then we say, <laughs> and then, like, one of us goes, like, you remember when we had conversations about this thing? And it's so and, then sad. You, and you guys are and you guys are so happy whenever I come into the call. We're happy whenever like a third real will comes in because we cannot have conversations when it's just us two for some reason. I'm not good at maintaining like, long form conversations. Huh? I think Wait. if you know it, like you're running out of topics, it's me. I, I guess. Harry, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to hear me and let I'm gonna ask you to hear me for a moment and. Let me remind you of our wonderful time playing Zelda 2. Oh man. We uh oh, it was it was it could have gone worse. It but was we just an experience. Yes. I don't and remember I'm... half of it to be honest. I wasn't there for half of it. <laughs> I I just so. remember us oh, like, God. trying to like going to like a uh, temple or something, not having the right equipment, and then looking online for like five hours trying to figure out what to do. Ah, uh, yes, um... For context, uh, Jason and everyone who didn't see it, um, Harry started it himself, and because of my pestering, he let me in. <laughs> and yeah, so I, I was there for like... Yeah, you, you were there for most of it. Yeah, I came in like for the second half and was his semi-reliable guide. <laughs> Pretty much. I wouldn't have Grab made... guide! I wouldn't have made it through the game without you. To be oh. oh, we have to do, we also have to do Zelda one post commentary. Yeah. Uh, what was it the only Zelda game that hasn't been a collab thing was Ocarina of Time, and I re need to really redo that at some point because that's just horrible. How old? Um, the the first half was when I was still using a camera. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! How long ago was that? I don't... Years. I, if it's anything to go by, if it's anything to go by, with some year old footage. 2012, maybe. Uh, well, I wasn't well, even well, born in 2012. Mario Galaxy 2 footage, you dancing the camera. What? Was it Mario Galaxy 2? That thing where you were dancing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> and you feel like it? It's so weird. Now I want to see these lost episodes of Harry's Chronicles. No. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're still up, so you can still find them. But the early uh, years. I, I was just... Me and my friend uh, were just really weird. Okay, what's this one? It's like... There you go. Uh, what's it? Like, my friend was just like, uh, liked showing stuff in front of the camera a lot. <laughs> Okay, I mentioned Zelda 2 because I remember that I ran out of commentary, like, two parts <laughs> in. Oh. Alright, what's this one? Um, if you had to give yourself a new name, what name would you pick? Nothing. I'm saying, no, what the fuck should I say? Zemnus. Everything lights. Uh, I would pick, um, Sora. I'll pick no. Mr. Windu. If we're gonna go with a real name, uh, uh... I don't know, I like my name too much. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't answer that. No. I don't know, uh... Aaron, uh, not Aaron, uh, Evan, I guess. Steve Jobs. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer the. Um, I can't it's answer the jobs. I I can't answer this truthfully, so I'm just saying stupid stuff. Uh, oh oh oh! This is a weird one. 
What age? At what age would you consider someone to be old? Uh, uh that, that's 40s? Oh wow, 40s. No. Maybe uh, mid to late 40s. Maybe. I, I don't know, because like, I view age as more like how you look at the time, I guess. I try to be respectful of age, or like guessing somebody's age. Yeah. Like, I can, I can give a decent estimate. I need to just a little bit above or below. I'm not gonna answer this question. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Um, Maybe. if I had an honest answer, I still would say what I just said. Oh, no. Oh, oh I'll get checkpoint. Oh, oh nice. quick one. Thank nice you. Ah, ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I didn't think that was solid for a second. Oh, here's a good one. What do you do when you're bored? Uh, YouTube. Nothing. YouTube usually gets me back into Think More than video games. It, it depends, like... I, just... I go on DeviantArt, that's what I do. I go on Pornhub. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Oh, I, I, I heard you like, what? <laughs> I was surprised, I was waiting for like a reaction. <laughs> I've seen my food chat, Harry. I can't even. I can't. I'm not <laughs> answering. I'm not even asking this one. What? How many email addresses do you have? Oh, Too many. I don't even know. I'm not saying. Because if we count like C's brain and stuff, then like 10 or something. Um, would you rather have summer weather or winter weather all, all year round? Neither. Uh, Person personally, winter because I can't stand the heat. Um. Can I just have spring weather instead? Yeah, spring weather. Yeah, that, that that's a good in between. Uh, fall. Early I like, fall, not. I like kind of, I like kind of mid. Yeah. Go go. That is <laughs> that is nonsense. You should have got. Uh, there we go. Harry. The just justice has been served. If you were given three wishes, what would you wish for? Four wishes. <laughs> That's always everyone's answer. That's uh, a good wish. I've actually uh, thought about this before. Coke. I've actually thought about this before. I, uh, in infinite money, uh, in my bank account, uh, I don't, I don't have to sleep <laughs> anymore. Bag. Uh. I don't have to sleep anymore, and um... Uh, I don't, uh, no, 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 I kind of disagree with that a little, little bit, to be honest, because the feeling of a dream or the sleep actually does feel nice sometimes. I, I, I suppose, but there's so many times where I just end up going to, to sleep late, um, and then I would wake up being all drowsy and stuff, and just say, yeah, it would be so much easier if I didn't have to do this in the first place. Um, I'd, I'd wish for a G who wouldn't screw me over. Then <laughs> don't ask for Norm from a Philly Odd Parents. Yeah, I'm trying to think what the third thing would be for me, but I like. Honestly, oh, I, I didn't say my first two. Uh, well, well, honestly, if I want to be able to travel anywhere I want for free. Hmm. That'll be good. But I want to see you guys. Yeah. The main thing, you know, like. Cause, you know, a lot. Of, I owe a lot to you guys. Yeah. Secondly, um. Getting sentimental in a YouTube playthrough. What is this? We're in a, we're we're bored, Harry. All the food I could ever need. All the food I could ever need. I guess. And uh, we're at skills. Boy. Yay! All right. Let's see how I do with this. That is one ugly man. It's a woman. Are you sure? Yes. It's supposed to be. Is that the weak point? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's like Lobox as a mother. <laughs> this was like, this thing was shown off as early as the teaser trailer, I believe. It 
What is your least favorite part of your day? Uh, hmm. Oh, well, we didn't answer, but he answered the dream, the, uh, uh, wishes. wishes thing. Um, I don't even know what I, 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 well, I said the second one is, um, all the food I could ever want, I could ever need. Yeah. Does Scrappy say anything? Okay, uh, wish one, non-evil genie, wish two, world peace, and, uh, <laughs> wish three, um, oh, wish yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's guessing where you are now. Yeah. Oh crap, I didn't mean to run off that. Ah! Ah, get back! <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, if you start screaming before any sound comes out. This is maybe our delay. Oh, no. wet noise is when he's putting on the nail polish. Uh, what will be your third answer, Stoy? Uh... Um, nasty. I got... Uh, I got nothing. Probably just a, probably just the game. Probably just every game. Any every game I could ever want. I could ever want, inclu including what comes out in the future. I guess. Uh, Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness! No! Oh wow! Yeah, That's sweet. restoring its life. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh wow. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. They're trying to pull the arms, trying to pull the things apart. Yeah. You just remember to take your edge into the second arm again after the second dip. Yeah. Go. Oh no, it's early. Look at that works. Yay! Finally! I guess we saved a nymph. That was very anticlimactic. Yep. Oh, we're not gonna watch this just yet. Start credits? Cause it, it, yeah, it was just gonna go through credits. All right, well, that was the end of Rayman Origins, everyone. I'm ScrappyFan92, and good night. <laughs> right, uh, oh, oh, I didn't even know there was a separate setting on the map. Wait, what? There is? Well, yeah, go back down. All the way down. Oh, wow, that, that's cool. I never knew that. Yeah. I always thought it was that door. Oh, it's already because we always end the game. Yeah. The reveal. Yeah, no. hey, what is your least favorite part of your day? Um... And just for the sake of things, we can't tell the job or something like that. Just like mm, that's, regular that's, days. That's kind of generic, yeah. Uh, um, let's see. My utter reluctance to actually go brush my teeth and say do my night or time routine. So, yeah, oh, hang on. I guess. Uh, also, this is great. Oh, uh, well, not. Well, there's a funny part that's coming up later, but. <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> oh, man. So, um, before we go into this topic thing again, um, I wonder if the uh, magician here is supposed to be the one from Rayman 1 and he's just been retconned into being a teensy now. Because, you know, I, I suppose a lot of characters would just be a teensy now or something, because, you know... Rayman 1, there were, like, other people who looked like Rayman, whereas now, he's, like, the only one who looks like he looks like him, I guess. Rayman's a unique being. Yeah. Unless, unless you want to count all these other costumes, but I don't know if you'd really consider a lot of them actually canon. Oh, lord. So, do you... I don't know, like, it's kind of interesting, because, like, I looked at the Rayman wiki, and it talks about how 
um, he, um, the magician is friends with, like, the Till of the Fairy and all that, but he has, like, he's secretly a, uh, admirer from Mr. Dark and kind of hides his true ambitions or something. Uh -huh. So... The I, evil Mr. Dark! So I guess he kind of has to be the guy from Rayman 1, but... Or a narrator or something? The, the same, yeah, the same guy from, like, the start of the game. But I, I don't know, like... Nothing's really certain about that. Hmm. <laughs> but anyways, though... So it's a boss rush now, right? Uh, we fight the uh, first two bosses from the second half again. We're gonna put the bird again. Yep. Anyways. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, which part for my day? I guess would be uh, I'm still waking up. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just that there's always that because that's what always when you feel the most ugly too. Yeah, you don't want to run. I like, how they, I, I like how they make it look like you just bash through it. I like how they <laughs> change the sound effect. Like they just made it lower. Uh, are you gonna have another topic thing or? Alright, oh, um. Let me see. Would you ever be poor or ugly? Ugly. I guess, yeah. Ugly, I can be, if I'm rich, I can get surgery. Yeah. I'd rather not, I'd rather still have money to do what we need to do. Yeah. Not the end of the world, not the, way, not the end of the world, I look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the, this I want to stay quiet for. Did I say I hard Mr. Dark in the background? Yeah, yeah. That kind of proves he's a, he was a fan or a follower. This is n r not random. <laughs> I think the point is just he's trying to distract us. Isn't it funny that you have all four players? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? Uh... Ah, so we get the final, the full track of the show thing. Yep. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's still really cool, find me. <laughs> <laughs> How come Raymond dance if he has no hip? Because I actually like also the idea that he's, you know, for the most part he's running away like. Yeah, he's using. Well, besides this helicopter crap thing, which is which is the way. Oh, because like oh, like he runs like that, like you do normally here. His jump is the same. Yeah. And you can see, you can substitute this with just a helicopter hair. Yeah. Though I will, I it would, it would have been kind of interesting if it, if there was like a character fight or something, because there were, there is unused music for uh, a Mr. Dark theme, or or what, or the magician, I guess you could say. And I don't know, it, it would have been cool to actually have a, a proper boss fight. With this guy. Yeah. But it, the, the end of level is just this, right? It's the chase sequence, yeah. Unless you want to say, like, 
I, I guess the, the guys from Rayman Legends are... Like, a lot of people would say, like, they're just this guy and he cloned himself or something. But, I don't know. Not... The thing is, like, Legends doesn't really specify anything. So, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> this is kind of cool, though. I like how you're platforming on... on around like a a factory that's been that's tearing itself apart why is it tearing itself apart because self destruct sequence i can only guess Whoop. maybe uh, go 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 I mean, is it to hit the door? Hmm. Also, I uh, forgot to mention it, but... Uh, I, I, I don't think we mentioned it before, but... The whole time we were collecting lums was... Uh, the magician was was using them to power up machines and stuff. So... You know... That'll be Kirby. Yeah. Now it's the final stretch of the game. Wait, 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 wait. This is a. Uh... Yeah, this is confusing. If this game's supposed to take place after Rayman 1, this can't be Mr. Dark. No, it's, <laughs> it's not Mr. Dark himself. It's more of a fanboy. Like, because you, you, you saw in the background there was a part of Mr. D and stuff like that. Because he's mm -hmm. So he's clearly like a fan of him. I want to be evil just like you. It's funny that. It's funny you mentioned that actually because there's. Um, the early scripts for this game, um, like, the story was going to be a lot more, um, like, elaborated on, and, like, the magician, magician's, like, like, what he wants to do would have been more explained and stuff. Um, Why he's doing this and all that? Yeah. And, like, it's more, it's more obvious that he's, like, he, he wants to be like Mr. Dark. So he doesn't do anything. Got it. Because <laughs> uh, you don't even fight. Because you well, you fight Mr. Dark, but you don't fight Mr. Dark. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like he kind of just vanishes. Like unless you want to say like he turned into those things, but even then. It's kind of far fetched. Cause I, I don't know. Cause I, we know Razor Beard escapes, but we don't know what happened to Mr. Dark. He just runs away, doesn't he? That's, that, that's as far as we know. I'm and sorry, like. I I, I'm also thinking about this in the final, in the fact, you know, in fact, this is the final bit of the level right here, right? Uh, kind of. Playing the airship, I guess? There's more, like, there's another section, but we're pretty much getting to the end of it. Because uh, I'm reminded of, like, a final boss and, like, how much he died before. It's like, uh, to get, getting the, uh, what's it called? The uh the 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 ace the the ace run in um what's it called in the final level of Little Big Planet three. My God, that sucks. Oh, because it's a multi part thing, and you can't and to ace the level, you literally cannot die at all. Because you also need to ace the level. In order to get this one sticker, in order to unlock something that's in the prologue. Oh wow! I had to look it oh, up look where. At it that bomb. What bomb? It was just bouncing around in the ship. Oh, just like... you didn't have to really shoot it, but you know. Go higher. I think you're. Yeah, go higher. Yeah, we're at the end now. Die! What? 
<laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> At least you just want your escape route, bro. Yeah, seriously. Hi, guys who are totally here. And also, he looks better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just act like nothing ever happened. That's the end of the game. What crate? Oh, I like this little detail. The magician isn't there anymore. We don't. Oh, we didn't get the last election. Yep. Yeah, I did a whole level over again. Fuck Harry. Th this playthrough's ruined. We have to start over from scratch. All right. So the. No. I'm fuck. Well, before we get into that, um, since you do these credits twice, a cool thing that they did uh, is that the second time you see the credits, uh, you can just go to the actual credits and just break them and get some ones. Um, you, you have. We're back. Yeah, it doesn't matter which, but which uh, credits is the second one you see. Like you can do land on the level dead second and break the credits there, but yeah. Um, I want to hear what Scrappy thinks first, actually. The next one, plat it's an excellent platformer, and it's one of my favorite games of all time, despite my oh, really? seeming apathy towards it. Um, I can see your issues with how it seems a little padded after the second half, and the lack of, I guess, traditional quote unquote boss battles is kind of a sticking sore point for me, even after all these years. But it's yeah. probably, I mean, between the three Rayman games I attempted, this is the only one I actually finished. Right. I think that's. And I loved it. I actually think this is one of your favorite games, and I'd, I'd uh, recommend playing Legends at some point, though. Sure, you have any money? If I really wanted you, I could send the game. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. What version would you want, too? Um, it's irrelevant. I'm not, I'm not sending anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I might do it at some point. That's Idrio. I, I, <laughs> Um, well, honestly, what version would you want? But, uh, um, PS. Well, I mean, I only have a PS4 and a Switch, so. PS4, I guess. Man. Well, yeah. you might. Well, maybe, you might as well maybe, get. Maybe Switch, maybe switch because, from what I understand, the benefits of that is that you have all the uh, character exclusive skins, and you can play with Murphy with touch controls or with buttons. I don't know. Switch got rid of the touch screen. Yeah, so you, you can well, yeah, because there's, there's a section of the level dedicated completely to the uh, playing with a touch, so you'd have to put it away on the tablet mode. Yeah, so you, you can kind of just play the game how you want, more so than the other versions. Right. Um, anyways, uh, though. Um, I thought, I guess, then? Yeah, um, because, like, a lot of the time... A lot of the time you uh, you say like our oh, plots are similar. Yeah. Uh, so. All right. Uh, even though I'm bad talking here, uh, I'm gonna see. The game when it first came out, I guess was to be seen as a pleasant surprise. But like, you know, this is kind of really showing like the how like far you can go with like and how much you how you can make a 2D platform more like just a. There's no fear of. There's no fear of what? Wait, what? Did I cut out? You you are being a bit of a robot. There's no no fear of what? There's no fear of like game overs or anything. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Oh, the only this game really just wants you to move forward. Yeah. Like the only like 
really it's a game that really just does like and with the, the kind of design it goes for it's clearly meant for speed running too yeah yeah how it uh goes through all the reaction based like puzzles and all that and especially when you do stuff with the tricky treasures yeah and like when a game has a uh, time trial thing you kind of have to base it around speed and it's perfectly possible to get like those trophies and all that yeah so you know it's a uh you know i guess the best way to sum it up is just plain fun i mean legend yeah, but like the boss battles are kind of an issue and but you know the thing is legend is this better yeah. like you know it's not even i'm not even trying to say like uh you know, like, you know, the bad origin levels mean there's no point in playing this, this version anymore, because, you know, there are some levels only in this. But, most you know... Of this, uh, most of uh, origin stages are in Legends now, so... Regardless, um... When you, uh... It's, I'm just speaking, going back going to what I was saying about Legends, um, it's great to see that they can improve on something great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, like, and you know, it's also, it's also showing that Ubisoft's comedy going on there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you think I'm gonna tell they were, they put a lot of love into this game overall. Yeah, and, a lot of charm. Uh, right, Rod Charm. Art is beautiful, and I Art, yeah, yeah, visual style is great, animation is, real, is spot on, and like, uh, there's a, no, like, there's a distinct musical style. Right. UB Art really knows what they knew what they were doing when, like, having you know, this game look as vibrant and pop, and it's possible make it pop out, make it stand out, make it its own thing. And Legends does the exact same thing too. It's like it sticks out as it, 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 its own identity. Yeah, and I think that's very important in this day and age. Right, and yeah, I'd like. You know, I don't want to see a third game yet, but I'm looking forward to when it does happen. If they if they do, yeah, if they do another 2D game at some point, uh, it'll be nice to see how they improve upon Legends. But at this point, I want to see uh, a return yeah, to... Yeah, I want to see a Rayman 4. I want to see a return uh, to the Rayman I grew up with. Right. But, um... Yeah, but, yeah, to grab my thoughts up, um, yeah, this is really, it, this also, I guess also after the Rabbit stuff, this is really oh, put yeah. Rayman back, but this really put Rayman back on the radar. Yeah, yeah, like, right. that, that, that's a pretty good segue, because, like, when this, back before this game was a thing, like, all Rayman was, was really a part of was the Rayman Raven Rabbit series, and... You know, for the longest time, we were the direction for Rayman as a series was really unclear. Like all we were getting were was just mini game collections, which aren't bad games in the grand scheme of things. But it took so many long years to finally get a new platformer, and they really knocked it out of the park with this game. There's a lot of solid platforming. The music's great. Like again with the. Um, the um, art direction and like just the general charm of everything, like it makes you feel like you're in a world of dreams and it's all like wacky and stuff. And right. even though I I do I did criticize like the whole second half feeling a bit um, forced in a sense. The levels there are still fun. Like there's really a level that's not uh, enjoyable to play through like there's moments and stages that um do feel like maybe a tad cheap sometimes i guess mainly in, like the late game but it's um considering there's no like live system and checkpoints are really frequent it's not really that big of a deal and it's nice to like have a a challenging game because you know we, we've come to an age where uh, we're kind of spoiled with a lot of like easy kind of games or games that give us a lot of uh, stuff to make things easier for us. So just to have a, gen a 
a uh, legitimate challenge is always appreciated in my opinion. Um, I mean, we still got four L because they wouldn't give us, they took away lives. Yeah. And like, this game One. proves that this game, uh, this game proves that you can have hard games, but not have a uh, life system. Like, look right. At, look at uh, Mario Odyssey. Like, that game looks pretty challenging from what I've seen, yet they're completely axing the life system. So, you know, maybe it's not a, a direct uh, uh, influence, but maybe some uh, some of that came from the new Rayman games, like, or just new games in general, because, like, lives are becoming more and more... Tell, yeah. Yeah, li lives are becoming more and more pointless as we as we uh, go further. Right, right. Um, yeah, Rayman Origin, uh, yeah, or whatever the or currently Origins duology, I guess I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. Is um, it really made an impact on platformers as a whole? Yeah. Like, this is a really a game you should learn and you should learn from. Is it gonna be a future game developer or not? Especially if you wanna be, if you wanna make it. A 2D game, like not even just pla a platformer, but I think like there's a lot you can learn from this game it, it, in general, like from a general like tone perspective, the, the music style, like make make your game have its own identity and just give it, make sure the game have it, has its own charm and a uh, make it so you can, it's memorable I guess you could say. Yeah, but Grant, Ubisoft seems to have that kind of touch to aim with Rayman in general. Like, yeah. say what you will about the Rat Rabbits, they do have their own kind of charm. Yeah. Like, and that really proved itself with uh, Mario plus Ra Rabbit Kingdom Battle this year. Yeah. And. Hmm. Yeah, and I. I guess, if, like, when this game came out, like. It, th this game came out during a style of like a renaissance era for like 2D platformers because it's like, I guess it started with Mario V in 2009, then 2010 uh, we got some others like Donkey Kong Country Returns and some other stuff I can't think of right now, and um, and then we just kind of kept getting more as the years went by, like we got this in 2011, we got Rayman Legends in 2013, and um, it, it was a nice time to... It was a good time to be a platformer fan again because, mm -hmm. you know, for a long, the longest time we kind of got the short end of the stick. So right. it was nice to have platformers come back. Right. You know, like we don't need every game doesn't need to be 3D nowadays. It, like no. this kind of shows like the traditional 2D side scrolling, jumping and attacking kind of thing has not lost its touch. It still has a place in the jump in the uh, gaming world. I think. Right. It's, it's like, it's like uh, when uh, the N64 PS1 era was a thing, like, the whole, like, 3D was a big, like, selling point for a lot of for And then, like, everybody had, apparently everybody had to make a 3D now. Yeah, it was like, it was like the big new step, but as we, I think as we, like, uh, go further in the gaming industry, and as the years go by, like, it... It, it, it becomes harder, I think, for developers to think of new, like, big steps like that. So they kind of, like, go back to, like, older ideas and make the best of what we have. And, um, I don't know, like, like you said, you don't, you don't need 3D to make something great. And this is a really good example of that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I always say this, I, I do prefer 3D games overall, because I like the sense of being able to go anywhere, and the sense of exploration in a lot of games like that, but I do see the, uh, the um, charm and, I guess, elegance in 2D platformers, especially in today's age. Right. I mean, like, yeah, I'm always glad. I, I'll gladly play a new 2D game when it comes out, as long as, you know. Yeah. I mean, as long as it, obviously, as long as it catches my interest to begin with, but. Yeah, and I mean, it's easier. I just, I, uh, I mean, I don't know anything about game development, but I'm, I'm, 
assuming like to making a, a good 2d game is a lot easier than making a good 3d game which makes sense why we have so many 2d games now but yeah mm -hmm. I'm personally happy for uh, games recently that are coming out that are more um, in in line with the things I I grew up with, like uh, stuff like Mario Odyssey. Um, a Hat in Time looks very appealing to me. And, uh, right. I I know I know there's a lot of like uh, complaints about it, but I do want to play the ukulele. Right. But yeah, I like. W would you say like the whole thing about like 2D games like really hitting its mark came back around like Shovel Knight or something like that? Uh, when did Shovel Knight come out? Twenty. That, that, I think that I think that was past 2012. I think that was 2013. What game? Shovel Knight. I I would 20... say. 2014. Oh, 14 really? Oh. I I would say. Also, the music's looping now. Yeah. <laughs> This is a, There's this a is, long credit. Th th yeah, right. <laughs> th these credits, like both games, uh, have like ridiculously long credits. Like they go so slowly. Um, um I still say some of the worst I've seen is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World because you can't, even, you have no chance of just screwing that up. Hey, at the bright, on the bright side, it gives us a lot of time to actually talk about Final Thoughts, I guess. Um, um but uh, what was it? I, I'd say like, um. Well, I'd, I'd say 2010 was like the start of like, um, of like platformers or like 2D games making a general comeback because Mario and Wii was kind of like, it was a start but it took a little bit for things to other like developers to start get, getting on board with that. Um, and um, I don't know, like 2010 in general seemed to be like a general time for platformers to make a comeback in general. Uh, but yeah. Like try, you know, I'm not thinking about like some series that like stay traditional and stay with their roots like um... Kirby. Kirby um... Mega Man. Oh yeah. Cause like, even, even, when, you know, even when Mega Man um, 8 came out like that was on the PS1 Dreamcast days or not Dreamcast um... Sex Saturn days. And, you know, that was when 3D was becoming a thing again. It was still the big thing, yet they did just to keep it 2D. I think that was just Capcom being lazy, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, they I'm made Mega Man well, Legends. Well, well, yeah, think... that is a thing, but you know, they, they, they're smart to make it a separate series, I think. Yeah. I think Sony required... I think Sony required them to make a 3D Mega Man in tandem if they wanted Mega Man 8. Yeah, I, I think it was a smart move to make a lot, a lot of the... Uh... Oh, we finally done here. Yay! What did it say? We end. You grab them? Oh, hi. Does it end? Grab all the lums. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> what are you go box? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. It, it, that happens all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but uh, what were we talking? What were we saying? Just to wrap this up. I don't remember now. Uh, Scrappy. Hmm. Do you remember what we were saying? You were talking about Mega Man and 3D. I, 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 I was just gonna say, I think it was a smart move to like keep like make different Mega Man series like X and Zero and stuff. Just so, like, you know what you're getting yourself into when you get one of those games, like, you know. I, I, I guess it was also, you know, I guess also in the same vein, vein that's kind of smart for why they made Boom, it's like Boom, a separate kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, you know, otherwise, that could have been seen as what Sonic's going to be now, as they didn't make it a, a separate universe. Yeah, that Not really, sense. considering Sonic goes through different changes every year. <laughs> Well, you, well, in well, terms they, of like they, gameplay they and stuff, back, yeah. They, yeah. But you know, they still come, can't come back to what they know for the like, most part. In terms of gameplay, yeah, but like, uh, modern Sonic seems like generally has a uh, like 
like one specific like ongoing universe or whatever. Right. But um, yeah. Uh, we 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 pretty much said all we needed to. I think for this game. It's way late. It's two thirty for you. Oh really? Oh crap. Well. Okay. Not that hairy. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm happy to finally get this game done. Great game. Uh, we'll probably I'll probably get to Legends again at some point because I need to redo that. Not I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm not sure when when though. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be it, I guess. I'm terrible at ending these, so see you guys later. Bye. Bye.